Okay, for our start today, setup guide for Dolphin and Mario Kart Double Dash HE Texture Pack. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at adding an HD Texture Pack today for specifically Mario Kart Double Dash for GameCube, obviously. So we're going to need a few things for us. First of all, we're going to need to go to the website to get the HD Texture pack itself we're going to need an iso of mario kart double dash that can actually be a pow or ntsc version of the iso and we're obviously going to need the dolphin emulator so let's actually go over and show you where we can get these things so this is going to be a google site as you can see and if we go to the download section from this website and here we go downloads now under the download section, you're gonna find a couple of different versions here. We got the English texture pack for NTSC PAL version. And we've also got this in French. Now, obviously I'm gonna be using the English texture pack. And like I was saying a minute ago, this is going to work for both NTSC and PAL ISO images. So the version I've got is American version of Mario Kart Double Dash. So I've downloaded the NTSC version of this. If you've got a European version, then it's obviously going to be PAL. So just go over to the mega link and download the texture pack. It's going to be a few gigabytes. Next thing we're going to need is the Dolphin emulator itself. So we're going to go to download Dolphin 2409 for Windows. And if we just scroll down just a touch, we're going to download the Windows times 64. We don't need the ARM 64. We need the Windows 64 version. Now, for any reason, anything doesn't work within this tutorial for you you'll see at the top just here in the red the windows releases require 64-bit visual c++ so if you get a black screen or whatever just make sure to download and install that pack just there so we've got everything we need right now and we've got the ntsc version of mario kart so what we're going to do is open up dolphin for the first time and double left click on dolphin.exe and here we go. So first thing we're going to see is statistics reported. I'm going to just press no on this. And we're going to need to link up the emulator itself where the ISO image is. So I'm going to just briefly shut this back down. And I'm going to create a folder within the Dolphin emulator folder. So just right click, new folder. And you can call this anything you want really. I'm going to call it games. And in that games folder, I'm going to drag and drop the Mario Kart image inside. Now if we open up Dolphin again. Now, if I just left click twice, and what I'm gonna do is just link this up to my games folder. So just left click on the games folder, select folder, and there we go. Now, if you're not sure which region of ISO you've got, as we can see just there, it clearly shows an American flag, which tells me it's the NTSC version. If you've got a PAL version of this, it will likely show a European flag or some description. So let's actually add the texture pack itself. So right now, this is just standard. It's got no enhancements. If we go to file, open user folder, we're gonna find lots of subfolders inside of here. The one we're gonna go into is the one which is load. And we got a textures folder here. And what I'm gonna do with the HD texture pack of it extracted, we're gonna be left with this folder here, GM4E01. If I drag and drop that, into the textures folder and if we come back out now everything's in place and what we're going to do first of all is just open up mario kart double dash by default setting so double left click on it and just remember to open this in full screen you can press all and enter on your keyboard Okay, so by pressing the escape button, that's just exited that for me. Now, I need to set up a controller first, so I'm using an Xbox Series controller. If I go up to the controllers tab at the top, I'm going to go to GameCube controllers, standard controller, configure, and from here, device, I'm going to drop this down, and because I'm using Xbox controller for this, I'm going to use X input. Now from here, I can actually map out my controller. So I'm gonna map out the buttons, for example, and I'm just corresponding this with the action buttons on my Xbox controller. And that's making me sound very old, say, in action buttons. And control stick, I'm gonna be using my left analog stick for this. And for the C stick, I'm gonna be using my right analog stick. 
Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just go up to profile and I'm going to call this just Jamie. And I'm going to save these settings and I'm going to go to close. Okay, so everything's now set up and my controller should be working. So let's actually install or put into place the texture pack from Mario Kart. So what we're going to do to do this, just go up to the graphics tab at the top. Advanced. And we're going to find a section here saying utility. I'm going to check load custom textures. And I'm also going to check prefetch custom textures. Okay, so technically this should now be enabled, but we're going to see in a minute. Next thing we're going to want to do to make the most out of texture packs, we're going to really need to add some definition to things. So under enhancements tab, internal resolution, I've noticed I can push this up to four times for 1440p. So that's going to give us a much better resolution, make things look much sharper. Under anti-aliasing, Alazin, however you like to pronounce that one. I'm going to put this one on to four times MSAA. And just remember, by applying these settings, that's going to put more stress on your GPU and CPU. So if you've got a lower-end computer, you might find this might lag for you. Under texture filtering, I'm going to put this on to four times anastropic. Now I'm going to go to close, and I'm going to open up Mario Kart Double Dash. But before I actually do that, we can actually make this open up in full screen. Again, if we go to graphics... We're going to go to general and we're actually going to enable VSync. That will reduce any screen tear. And we're also going to enable start in full screen. And if it's not already selected this for you, under adapter, just make sure your GPU is selected and not your CPU. Okay, so if I now go to close and double left click on Mario Kart Double Dash. And that's it for today's Mario Kart Double Dash in how to add that HD texture pack. So for anyone that knows that game, you can see by far it looks more defined and the textures really display that HD texture pack. It looks really awesome. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. Also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.